Well, this is a development I was not expecting. How's it going, folks? Nerdy John here, and let's get some housekeeping out of the way first. First off, please remember to make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the video and you're new to the channel. Especially since 80% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed. And then finally, if you want to show some love and support to the channel, feel free to become a member today. You get a shout out at the end of every video. So if you guys remember the last part of this story, Froggy Fresh was banned from Creator Clash because he made some jokes about Anissa's OnlyFans. There seems to be substantial evidence that Chris Raybon is now on Adderall. Well, young man. Amphetamines couldn't save Hitler, and they can't save you either. On April 15th, if I don't hurt you beyond what anybody could have imagined, I will be so disappointed in myself that I will subscribe to Elisa's OnlyFans. Yes, that's right, the hard hitting jokes right there. Saying that the OnlyFans model has an OnlyFans. Well, since then, the Creator Clash account has released an official statement. Let me read it for you. As you may be aware, we recently announced Froggy Fresh would be leaving the Creator Clash 2 ticket. We want to provide some additional information around the rationale for this decision. To clarify some of the online chatter, we have a legally binding code of conduct that each of our Creator Clash 2 fighters are held to the violation of which is grounds for termination. Unfortunately, there are several violations made by Froggy Fresh during his tenure with Crater Clash this year. The Crater Clash 2 team, inclusive of the production company, takes violations seriously and made several unsuccessful attempts to address them directly with Froggy Fresh in the hopes that we could to get work together to get things back on track. When it became clear that the exhibited behavior wasn't stopping, at the risk of the other fighters, fans, and others involved in the event, the, the Creator Clash 2 team made the collective decision to move forward without Froggy Fresh on the ticket. Our number one priority is ensuring that the Creator Clash 2 is a positive, safe, and welcoming space for everyone. We look forward to kicking off an amazing event and raising a lot of money for charity. Crater Clash and iDubs have already donated 50k for each of Froggy Fresh's supported charities, Kids Cancer Foundation and um, Nicholas Kids Hospital, for a total of 100k. They also remain a uh, beneficiary of money raised throughout the event itself. The fighters have all been working so hard and can't wait to get into the ring. Let's focus on their fights, not, not any that may exist online. That's right, folks. Froggy Fresh, making some jokes about OnlyFans, endangered the event itself. Do you guys remember last year when they banned Sam Hyde because they said he was a brand with risk and their only advertiser throughout the entire thing was Fansly, an OnlyFans competitor? Like, this does not make sense. Like, I want to see the clause where it says you can't make fun of people on Twitter. I want to see that so bad. And... and gets even better, Froggy Fresh says, wait, you guys tried to contact me? Apparently, apparently, according to Froggy Fresh, which I, you know, don't think he's lying at any point of this, says that they didn't contact him at all during the entirety of his training to say like, hey, don't say that stuff. Like nothing. And to top that off, they're suing him or at least potentially going to. Now I've been friend with a potential lawsuit if I spoke about this entire mess and demanding the 15k I used for training equipment, travel, etc. over the last five months, unbelievable. Is this for charity or what's going on? Now keep in mind, while technically it is iDubs and Anissa who are going to be suing him, it is the company themselves. That's right, on top of it being basically millionaires who are suing him, which Froggy Fresh admits that he don't have a lot of money. He's got, he's got a mortgage on his house. They're suing him 
through their charity company. Luckily, YouTube creators such as Mudahar have come out in support of Froggy Fresh and even said that they recover any legal expenses. Threatening lit litigation like this kind of worries me, but I hate it when smaller creators have to face any legal crap. It ruins lives. I'm down to cover it all for, n for n no need for GoFundMes. I just want this to be resolved. I want a successful event at the end of the day. Yeah, and here's the thing. No one wants to stop like the event at all. This is for charity. This is for good stuff. But for some reason, iDubs and Anissa let their personal feelings get involved during the event and it just doesn't make sense. And also too, a lot of people don't know why people are upset as this clip shows. We're going over some creator clash drama here. Okay, so Froggy got kicked from the event. There are certain people who want Froggy back in the event. I made a video about it. It was just me reacting to a Twitter space that Keemstar was doing about it. All those people want Froggy back in the event and they're trying, they're like holding hundreds of thousands of dollars, like hostage essentially saying, oh, we'll donate this money if Froggy is back in the event, but only if Froggy's back in the event, as if that makes them good people. They're like, well, you're throwing away money from charity for not having Froggy back in the event, which is like, it's just a weird argument because that that's a non-existent thing. It's like their event is going to make so much money for charity. Like this hostage money that they're holding is not money that they're losing out on because they don't have Froggy in the event. It's money that those people are refusing to give to charity because they don't want to unless they get their way. You know what I mean? And finally, one more statement by Froggy Fresh. I appreciate everyone's support. Can't lie. This is a stressful situation. I have a family, wife, two young kids, a mortgage. The threat of being pursued legally unless I remain quiet and let them tarnish my reputation to where no one else would want to work with me for misconduct is rough. I appreciate the donation to the charity I submit and continuing to don't and continue continuing to keep donations coming in to them. I don't want CC to to fail i would rather we just walk away amicably where i'm not threatened in all sincerity i hope they raise as much money as possible good guy froggy fresh right there now my personal opinion on this this whole situation sucks iDubs and Anisia have continuously shown again and again that they are extremely out of touch with today's youtube crowd iDubs was the king of edgy jokes back in the day Every single commentary channel who tried to be edgy always tried to emulate him. And yes, while I understand he doesn't like to make those types of jokes anymore, you think he would have more of a backbone. Now I could see if like Froggy Fresh was doing actual harassment, right? If he was harassing Chris Raygun and harassing Anissa nonstop, right? Like I'm talking actual harassment, by the way, not like crying like he, he made fun of me type harassment but the fact that all he did was made one joke and his entire fight is canceled is ridiculous what's gonna happen next year is someone gonna mention anisa's name offhand and then boom the entire event's canceled guys don't be like don't be like idubs okay this is nerdy john signing out take care